You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good morning, and thank you for joining us today on Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Saturday, the 19th day of September 2020. And our topic for today is Becoming an Exemplary Leader, Part 3. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for your love over us. Lord, as we go into your word, we ask that you open your word up to us and reveal things to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 11 verse 5. It says, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Genesis 11 verse 5. Our Bible reading is from the same book of Genesis chapter 11, but we will be reading from verse 4 to 5. It says, And they said, Let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. For some days now we've been studying this topic, becoming an exemplary leader, and God has been revealing some great things to us. We really appreciate him for that. We've seen that if you want your followers to have one language, then you must ensure that the vision is big and that it is clearly articulated from the onset. All of the followers have to be carried along and like we see in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, that the vision should be written down, it should be plain, so that they that read it may run with it. Today we are seeing that if your vision is to ensure, for example, that there is is a restroom in every building in your city you may have people who may not take you seriously because they may think that your vision is very simple a task they may think it's just all about building restrooms after all but if your goal is as audacious as that of barack obama who was the first black president of the united states of america then you'd see that people would want to give you more attention because it looks like something that would have to take you some time or something that was nearly impossible praise god today we are seeing that god giving visions usually seem as though they are impossible to achieve but god today is telling us that if he's the one who gave the vision then he's also able to fulfill it we see that whatever he has promised he's able to do romans chapter 4 verse 21 which says and being fully persuaded that what he has promised he was also able to perform it. So once God has made a promise, once he has given you a vision, he is also able to give you the grace, the enablement to carry it out. A vision worth pursuing is that which appears impossible to achieve. That's where God's glory is even revealed. If for nothing else, people would even just follow you to see if what will actually be achieved will be achieved. Our Father in the Lord tells us a story that one day in 1998, he announced that we were going to hold the crusade in Lagos where 4 million people would be in attendance. He said it really looked as though it was impossible, that but at the end, it was discovered that over 6 million people attended that meeting. And of course, while many did not come to be a part of that big vision, some came, like we said earlier, to just see if it would actually be as it was projected in attendance. And God did wonders. People were so many that not all the people who were in attendance could actually even see or hear what was happening at the altar. We had so many people, but even as there were so many of them, they still stayed until the end of that meeting. The reason was because it was a vision that was worth becoming a part of. May God give us visions that would seem overwhelming, but then we'll bank on His grace to carry it out, and in the end, all glory will still return to Him in the name of Jesus. 
And finally, the Lord goes on to say that the crowd attracted international media. And ever since, we have had gatherings which were even larger in number by God's grace. He says, I know the power of God had always drawn people to our programs. However, it is proven that if your vision seems impossible, you will attract attention. The vision of the people that we see in Genesis chapter 11 verse 5 was so big, it got God's own attention. The scripture records that, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. What is that vision that God is giving you? You think it is beyond possibility. It is not impossible. If he has handed it over to you, then it means there are enough resources to bring it to reality. Why don't you just bank on him and walk with his spirit? And then you see a manifestation of those things. It will wow you yourself. Your vision can attract God's attention. If only you would submit yourself and your will to him. Keep all fears aside. We are being asked serious questions today. We are asked, can your vision attract God's attention? Your vision should be bigger than you. It should scare you. That's what will push you to the place of dependence upon God. That's what will make you know that it is not by your effort. And even when the success comes, you would always be quick to remember that if not for God, had it not been Him, we would not be here. If people don't see your vision as impossible, then you may need to rethink. May God grant us grace to be able to stay put to His visions for our lives in the name of of Jesus. Right now we would appreciate him for what we've heard. We would bow our heads and say, Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for giving us these salient truths. Father, help us that we would always look up to you whenever you give us visions that seem overwhelming in the name of Jesus. We choose to trust you. We open our hearts and we ask that you would use us for your purposes overwhelmingly. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point today that says the vision worth following is one that seems impossible to achieve. Praise God. We must not be overwhelmed. We must not be scared. When the words that God is telling us seems impossible, the men that we see in Genesis chapter 11 verse 5 were not people who were so learned because the scripture did not record that they were so learned. But these were men who had the vision to build what we would call these days skyscraper. God came to see what they were doing. God had to change their languages. He saw that if they had continued this way in unity, there would be nothing that they would not achieve. May God grant us grace today that we would be men who would be achievers according to his purpose for us. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Praise God. Thank you for joining us today. We are super, super excited. If you want to be a part of our online community, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226 and we'll be excited to hear from you. If you would also like to share this with others, please feel free to do so. God bless you mightily. Have a great and super day ahead in Jesus' name. Bye. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.